Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of June 8th through the 14th. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here, get an overall energy. So this is, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and that just came flying out. So this is going to be a week of work. Not something you're not used to, right? It's always about work, right? Work, 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 work. <laughs> so that doesn't change. So, um, yeah. Now this looks like we have a, a business person here. A business woman, but doesn't have to be. Focusing on their job. Uh, working really, really hard. Some of you may meet somebody through your job as well, or you're working with a person that is very um, business-like, okay? This is going to be a week focused around work. You may be even signing contracts with somebody. This is a professional, okay? So you may be dealing with a professional this week, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with as well. It looks like there's going to be signing of some paperwork, okay? So whether, whatever, I'm not sure what this paperwork is. There could be a change in the contract. Somebody may be changing things up. Hmm. What do we have for Aries for the week of June 8th through the 14th? What do we have for Aries? The moon, Monday. Oh, Knight of, or Page of Swords reversed. The Chariot, Tuesday. And the Star card reversed. Wednesday, the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Thursday, Four of Cups and the Temperance card reversed. Friday, Six of Swords and the King of Wands reversed. Saturday and Sunday. Let's get an overall energy with this deck for the week, please. King of Swords reverse the overall energy. So the King of Swords reversed uh, is uncaring. Somebody that doesn't care. Somebody that is cold and you may not be seeing a situation clearly unwilling to budge. Um, you may also be dealing with a feminine, a female, a mother, a wife, or an individual that is selfish. We have a very selfish energy here. There could be some power struggles. Uh, uh, could be the mother of your children or the stepmother or the wife or something like that. So the overall energy is the king of swords reverse. So somebody could get really mad and angry by the looks of things with the king of swords reversed. Uh, somebody's not telling the truth, which could piss another person off. Um, looks like it's going to, and it may have to do with your money that you made from your job or something to do with your work. Um, maybe you find something out about a person because on Monday there's some secrets. There's something that has been hidden. There's something you don't know. Okay. It could be dealing with a Pisces or a cancer. There's, there's something below the surface. There's somebody has been hiding something. There's some deception. Be careful because all is not as it seems. You know, it's a Pisces or a cancer. Um, you need to proceed with caution. This is a difficult path. You need to follow your gut. There's unseen problems because there's a liar here with this page of swords reversed. This is an enemy disguised as a friend or somebody that, you know, talks out their butt. You know, they, they're, 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 uh, this could be a path, somebody with mental issues, seriously, a pathological liar here that is very good at hiding things. And you may be working with this person and I feel like you're very smart. I feel like you have a, you know, you have a lot of experience behind your back. You may discover something about the person that you are working with or dealing with on Monday. They're definitely, look at the look on that, that moon's face. This is a, this is maybe a disgrace. 
may have something to do with one of your children or a child or something like that. But we definitely have a secret here. Somebody is keeping a secret. They're lying about something and I think that you know it. I do. I feel like you know it, but you may have some fear. Somebody has some fear because the the moon card is a card of fear. Uh all is not as it seems. The moon is ruled by the shadow. Something is hidden and it may come out with that page of swords. The truth may come out and that could cause uh, a problem, a conflict, a message that you don't want to hear or some information that you don't want to hear, you don't want to see on Monday that, you know, may cause some conflict for you. So be prepared for Monday to probably be a day where something that was hidden gets revealed and probably causes you an upset. I just got to be honest with you. I have to be. Um, I think we got some mental health issues here. I don't know who you're dealing with, but you got somebody that has some mental health issues. They are very uh, huge liar, put it that way. Huge. It's either a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This ha this is surrounding a child as well. It's like they're lying about the child, making things up. Because they're doing it for their own benefit. Tuesday, the chariot and the star reverse. Now this is mastering emotions, going for a ride, taking taking things you know, under control, leaving something behind, giving up. I mean, the star reversed is, is an illness. It's where fear takes over. This is replacing fear with faith, but fear has taken over. Taken over. This is determined. Determination, self control, needing to find the, the determination to control yourself. On Tuesday, you're going to need to control yourself. And I think, and there's a feeling of being ashamed. And, and you know, when people lie, you don't know they're lying until you find out. So don't, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed when you find out what this person has done. Okay. It's not your fault. People are, whoever this person is, is a master. They are a master at lying. Okay. So don't, don't be ashamed that you didn't see it. Okay. Uh, they are very skilled at what they do. Now there, this is, it feels like, uh, there's some sort of bad news coming on Monday that, really forces you to get in the driver's seat and take control of a situation. Somebody may try to make you feel guilty though. So beware, you know, put a guilt trip on you. Whoever you're dealing with uses emotional blackmail as their tactic. And if you don't know what emotional blackmail is, then look it up. But I feel like uh, your feet, you may, you know, the star reversed is, is feeling sick, depressed. Um, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Something, somebody, somebody could come or arrive and, um, or go someplace or leave. And then, and then it's like, why, 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 why? You may be asking yourself why this is happening. Now the chariot is a card of transformation. It is. Whatever is happening is happening to move you forward. You're just going to need to find your strength to deal with whatever this is. You're dealing with an arrogant person as well. Whoever this person is, they're very arrogant. They're very skilled at lying and hiding the truth. So uh, beware. Um, this is somebody you've been working with or... or, or uh, and, and when you when I say working with, it doesn't have to be at a job. It could be in life. It could be a life partner. It could be somebody that you live with, whatever. Um, definitely all is not as it seems. You're going to need to find your mental strength to deal with this. I don't know if it's disillusionment or this person that has been lying to you. 
on Tuesday, it's a why day. It's why, 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 why. Your faith is going to be tested because this is replace uh, fear with faith, and this is your faith being tested. So your faith is going to be tested on Tuesday by a situation. You're really, and it's interesting because this is willpower and this is a loss of will. You're going to be feeling, uh, going back and forth as to what you should do. Should you move away from this person? Should you let this person go? What's going on here? So it's a, it's quite a mess. Tuesday is going to be a day of, uh, push and pull by the looks of things. Probably wanting to move on. Wanting to go someplace, but feeling guilty, feeling feeling ashamed, or, or this person may may actually make you feel guilty and make you feel ashamed. That's one of their tactics. So um, fear, fear takes over. So you're gonna need to find your strength to move on from whatever this situation is, and it's not gonna be easy. It's not. It's not. Tuesday is going to be a difficult day with this opposition. It's, it is. It's It's going to be a very much, you know, up and down kind of day where you're feeling like you're really going to need to find your mental strength to keep going forward. Okay. It, you're probably going to be, um, there could be an element of depression or sadness or, you know, whatever, because you know you have to move forward. You know you have to keep going. And you know you have to control yourself. Make sure that you control your temper. It's time to go. This is it's time to go. It's time to leave this desperate situation behind. So I think on Tuesday, you're going to be uh, moving forward. And I think it's reluctantly. I do think it's reluctant, reluctantly. Um, something is going to happen the, the day before or on Tuesday that um, Monday or Tuesday that uh, probably scares you, you know, or, or makes you feel like you made the wrong decision or whatnot. Um, but I have to tell you, whoever you are dealing with is a masterful liar. Master. A master. Okay, this person, it, it lies with the best of them. I mean, seriously, pathological liar has mastered the skill of manipulation. Wednesday for Aries. Now, tens are completions working together on Wednesday. Wednesday is the 10th. So this is teamwork, working together, proving, showing, showing, and it looks like we got a church here. Showing people, showing somebody what you can do. You may be, you may be, um, it definitely has to do with work and building a new foundation or building a foundation. Working on, in your home, working on your foundation, uh, working on your financial stability, putting in a lot of effort, making some compromises. Um, it feels like you're the finishing touches, right? You're, you're finishing up a project. You're finishing up a project on Wednesday. Probably be, be whoever you're 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 working for or proving yourself to has complete faith in you. Whoever, whoever, whoever uh, comes in, whoever uh, is watching you, whoever is uh, these people have complete faith in you. Put it that way. They're watching you. You are being watched by somebody. By the way, watched by somebody um, that is very. It feels like this person is spiritual. You're being watched by somebody that is very um, spiritual. The Ten of Pentacles is, is surrounding uh, your financial success. There could be a passing down of, of money or, or maybe it's family money or trust funds or... 
There could be some family, a family business that is being passed down. This has to do with an establishment that is very comfortable. Somebody may have married into money or they may be they may be working with somebody that has a lot of money. This is financial stability. Somebody is, has been working with somebody that, you know, just for the money by the looks of things. There's no love right here. But on Wednesday, this may have to do with your job or it may have to do with your business or whatever it is. You have a lot of talent. You are well respected and I think that you're... Whatever this is, I think that you will be admired for your hard work, um, recognized for your hard work. Now, this is a legacy. So this is like a family legacy, um, building up a, a stability for a family. But this is making some sort of compromises as well, working together as a family. Something is happening on Wednesday that has to do with money. It has to do with financial security and money and inheritance and passing down and passing along and improving yourself. This is finishing up, finishing, finishing touches, putting some finishing touches on a project as well on Wednesday. So you're going to be finishing up a project that is really going to pay off in the long term. It's going to pay off in the long term, if not for you, for your family or for your business. This is being very comfortable. This tens are completions. So this is the end of a struggle as well. If you have been struggling financially or uh, I think it's over. I do think it's over. Um, so I think that Wednesday is a day of focusing on your uh, stability, focusing on your home, focusing on your business, finishing up a project. Um, and this is going to pay off for you. It's going to pay off. Somebody may be getting an, an inheritance or, you know, doing, because that could be a contract. It looks like that's a lawyer or something. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Somebody may be, um, this could be like a will, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, getting their finances in order. Whatever. Thursday. Four of Cups and the Temperance card. So this is discontent, not happy not interested so we have somebody here that is not interested in what's being offered it looks i mean we got we got uh somebody offering uh emotional support or offering love or or trying to get another person's attention and the other person isn't interested it's just not the right time there's a lack of harmony there's a lack of balance very very frustrated I don't, I'm not interested. So Thursday is going to be a day of feeling frustrated and uneasy and needing to re-examine, uh, re-examine the path ahead. I feel like something is off on Thursday and you're going to be feeling like that. You're going to be feeling like something is off. Somebody's going to be um, wanting your attention and you're just like, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not, you're not going to be into it. You're not going to be into it. You have other things on your mind. You know, and it has to do with, uh, maybe it's a mental imbalance. I'm not saying that it is, but this is, there's too much. Self-healing is needed when you get the temperance reverse. A lot of, we have not healthy here. We have an individual who's not healthy. It's like, there's health that could be declining here. And on Thursday, maybe you just don't have any energy. You don't have any desire. You don't, you don't even want to get out of bed or you're not feeling good. You're not interested. You're just not in, interested in, in doing much on, on Thursday. I feel like you're, you may be feeling down. You're, you're not uh, really... Maybe you're feeling sick. There's also some inappropriate behavior that may, that may have happened from the person that you are dealing with that has made you decide that you don't, you don't care about them. You don't want to be a part of this anymore. Thursday is going to be a day of frustration, unfortunately, when you get the temperance reversed. Something is off. 
Healing is needed. There's an imbalance which causes frustrations and the lack of desire to even consider whatever somebody is is offering you or saying to you. It's like, no, nah, I'm not even interested. So Thursday, so you're going to be presented with something. Um, you know, that's the Ace of Cups. Somebody, somebody's going to present you with an offer or they're going to try to get you to open up or they're going to um, say they love you or whatever and you're just going to be like, I didn't hear you. You know, I'm not interested. I, I'm not, I, no, I'm not interested. This isn't right. Something isn't right. And I think you're going to be overanalyzing. And that's why. It's like you got somebody here that, that loves you or, or says they love you. And you're like, I don't believe you. Not interested. So I think that Thursday is going to be a day of re-examining what somebody is giving to you. It's like, you know, I don't, I just, sadness. I mean, I think that Thursday is going to, it may be a sad day where you're, you're thinking about, you know, all the disharmony and all the discord and the lack of harmony, um, the discomfort, uh, the, 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 the lack of, uh, togetherness with, and I think it may have something to do with family. It may, you know, it's caused a lot of uproar in your family. And I think that, you know, on Thursday, you're like thinking, thinking, thinking about the problems. You got to see what's above it. This person has caused. You are dealing with a person that is so shady. And I think that you know it. But you've been ignoring it. And I think it's come to a point where you can't ignore it anymore. You have to accept, and this is lack of acceptance. You have to accept that the person that you have been dealing with is deceptive, cold-hearted, a bully, mentally abusive, doesn't care, is only looking out for themselves, and is selfish. That's who you're dealing with. Friday. Moving. That's moving to a new destination. Moving on. That is leaving this behind. Leaving the trouble behind. Or looking for peace. Going to a peaceful place. Angry. Getting angry. Upset. Turning your back. Could be even... Uh, this is uh, giving up. No, no desire. No ambition. Uh... Whoever you're dealing with, you are you are moving farther and farther and farther apart from. They're causing a lot of anger within you. I feel like on Friday, you're ready. You're ready. It's like you're ready to go. You're ready to go. That's what this is. The Six of Swords is moving on. Moving on from... Uh, an individual that doesn't respect you. One more card for Friday. Ooh, Knight of Cups reverse. So this is somebody that uh, says that they love you. This is a love bomber. This person says that they love you, but those are just words. And I think that you're going to see that you're dealing with a fake. You're dealing with a fraud. You're dealing with a fraud. And I think it could be in a vol on a very emotional day in where there's anger and there could be an emotional outburst where somebody just decides to leave they, it, or to get taken away, okay, or goes away. You know, I need to go walk away. So somebody could end up, you know, driving away or going away or going to their own place or going someplace else or moving, moving, Um taking a new approach. It's like, you know what? I'm turning my back. I'm getting out of here because I can't deal with you. I can't deal with your fake love. This is the Knight of Cups reverse is fake love. So I think Friday is going to be a rough day too where somebody gets angry. They get upset. They they lose their ambition or the desire to fight. I don't want to I don't want to fight anymore. I'm leaving. 
So Friday, somebody could be leaving. They could be taken off. They could be going someplace else because the love that they were being offered that they, that they, you know, it's like there's nothing in that cup. That, that's not real love. It's not real love. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Okay, a water sign. This person is emotionally unavailable. They are cold. They are clingy. They cry all the time. They, they you know, self-loathing. They, they're shallow. They're manipulative. This person has a victim mentality. Um, is very scandalous, hypersensitive, and wicked, revengeful. They, they, you seriously use emotional blackmail as a tactic. On Saturday, I think that you will be um, communicating with this person, but this person is going to be using emotional blackmail on you. Um, this person doesn't have any love to offer. They may cry all day long as a way of communication. They may um, pout. You know, they may pout or or bitch, that kind of thing. Um, this person on on Saturday is going to be communicating to, with you in a negative manner. You know, they're going to be using their emotional blackmail on you, okay? So anything to make you feel bad, to make you feel guilty. You definitely have an individual here that uses that emotional blackmail to make you feel guilty. And they're going to they're gonna do it this week. Okay, they are deaf. This is going to be a, a high week of, and it's going to cause stress, and stress kills. It makes you depressed. So, whoever this person is, it feels like they are um, very, very emotional, and they are going to be communicating with you a lot. They're going to be communicating with you a lot. They're going to be trying to get you to take their side. They're going to be trying to manipulate you. Um, and I think you're, you're probably going to see through it. I think that you are going to see through it. So the more that you don't give them what they want, the more they're going to try. Because it's always worked in the past. Okay, and all we, it, is, it has, and that's why you're going to need your mental strength to, to overcome this person. This person has always been able to get you to listen to them with their emotional blackmail. They have. They've been able to manipulate you uh, this whole time. They have. And you've allowed it. You have allowed it because you love them, right? You love them. But this person doesn't love you. But they may love your money. So I think that you are—you may have an argument with this person. You may have an argument because you see where it's looking. It's looking over here. You may have an argument with this person. There's going to be a lot of words that are said. Um, this relationship is not growing. It's not going anywhere. There's, it's not. So somebody may decide that they need to go. It's time to go. So I, I feel like there's going to be some conflict. A mess. There's going to be. There is definitely going to be some conflict and on Sunday. That is shutting down emotionally, going into exile, becoming anti antisocial, needing to reflect on this uh, emotionally overwhelming situation. I feel like on Sunday there's going to be tears, there's going to be sadness, and a desire to go within and retreat from this situation. I feel like, I do, I feel like it is. I feel like this is a midlife crisis type of thing where, you know, you may need time to be alone. It's extremely disheartening, put it that way. I'm sorry to end a, a reading like this, but I think that you are dealing with a person that is a bully. This person is a bully. They are abusive and they're mostly, mostly mentally and verbally abusive and they are a master manipulator and the only person that they care about is themselves. Good luck.